All good ninja movies have a showdown, and the Mythbusters Ninja Special is no different. So far, they've learned their ninja has super fast reflexes. But can he catch an arrow? So our ninja feels pretty confident that he can catch an arrow. Now, maybe holding seven world's records in catching stuff and uh, the fact that he calls himself the arrow catcher has something to do with that, but uh, that's not good enough for us. We've got to see it. Before I start shooting at Anthony, I think I need a little target practice. Now, unlike a real battle, the ninja has put in a request. Anthony wants me to stand exactly 26 feet away and fire past him, not directly at him. How's it going, dude? You hitting the dot? I'm getting them bunched in pretty tight. Yeah? Yeah. You ready for taking a crack at the real ninja? Let's do it. All right, let's get Anthony. Anthony's also requested I don't do a full draw. Ready for you, sir. I release my arrows at only about half to three-quarter strength. So this is the moment the fans have been waiting for. Will Ninja Dom be vindicated or shamed? Can a real ninja really catch an arrow? <laughs> Got it be a no. But he's a ninja. He's not about to give up without a fight. Jamie's arrows are traveling about 120 miles an hour. So at 26 feet, our ninja has about one eighth of a second to react. He missed again. This sure is a tough challenge and fast looking like myth busted. Until finally, he got one. Nice catch. And now he's got his eye in. Ninja! The ninja caught the arrows. Maybe the fans were right. Our ninja was, in fact, able to catch an arrow, which is impressive. But we should note that it was at a set distance. I wasn't doing a full draw on the bow. I was precisely controlling the situation to give him the arrow exactly where he needed it. But catch it, he did. So maybe it's time to break out a slice of humble pie. Our ninja caught the arrow. Are you feeling vindicated now? Our ninja caught the arrow. Hold on, don't get so cocky, buddy. We got a lot in store for that ninja to come. Blowpipes are a great assassination accessory. But can a ninja use one to perform underwater slaughter? Tori's already beaten exposure. Oh, that's it. All right. Okay. So now it's on to the blowpipes. So we've got exposure. The next test is accuracy. Okay, let's make blowguns and blow darts. Okay. Just for fun, let's have a little contest and see how much ninjosity you actually have. I think there should be some rules, though. Like, the blowgun itself should blend into the pond, so natural materials only. How much time do we have? End of the day. All right. Okay. All right. With ninja blueprints thin on the ground, it'll be everyone for themselves to use their ninjanuity to make a winning weapon. It's not a game of how hard you hit. It's how accurate you are. There's a lot at stake. Because the winner will be the underwater assassin. I know I'm the best ninja. Come on. I come from a long line of ninjas.